Uh, Coach, uh, coming back for a fifth year into the program, you've done a lot of recruiting. Uh, what's that been like so far? Well, I'll tell you what, Ray, just being able to recruit without uh, all the COVID restrictions. We went two years without even having an official visit on campus. Uh, now we're finally getting to have people come visit the, the Valley and our great university, and uh, we've really signed some great players for next year. Uh, we have six return, seven returners, and then we have nine new players. So uh, a lot of experience in those uh, re uh, returners, but uh, we also signed some veteran players through the transfer portal and also through the junior college ranks. And also, you, you guys also lost a, a couple of players as well. But what, but what has been that the feeling like to getting back to, I guess, a new normal to try to get players to visit campus now, sh showing them all the great things that this university is doing, and and now just trying to put the whole puzzle together. Yeah, it's been uh, it's been a rough two and a half years for everybody, but uh, we feel like now that uh, you know we are kind of back to normal. And uh, the number one thing is is we have so much to offer at UTRGV. Uh, not just our university, but uh, also in our community in the Valley. Uh, once we get players here on visits, they fall in love with the Valley and they fall in love with our university. So it's been huge for us to get uh, you know that personal uh, interaction with the uh, kids on their campus and their families. And uh, it's just been, uh, it's been fun, right? It's been fun to get back to doing what we love to do. In the five years that you've been here, you've seen the uh, basketball scene grow here in the Rio Grande Valley. Can you just talk about a little bit of that experience and what you've seen in the development and the growth of the game here in the Rio Grande Valley? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, be, when we first got here, we were the only Texas school in our league. Uh, now we have eight Texas schools, so the league has really grown, um, and the league's gotten better and better each year that we've been here. And so we got to continue to – to uh, sign and develop uh, quality players from the state of Texas and then also, you know, recruit nationally. And um, we, we've been able to do that. We've brought in some great talent. Um, but, yeah, the, the university's really grown, but I think the league has helped us uh, grow and uh, get more exposure. Uh, with, the, you know, eight Texas schools, we're playing in bigger markets in Texas now, like Houston and up in the Dallas area with UT Arlington and, uh, you know, uh, San Antonio in the league now. So we're getting to play and get our, our university's five letters out there, UTRGV, um, and these markets are helping us do that. Absolutely, and the last one I gotta ask you, you know, your fifth year here, uh, you know, it, it hasn't been brought up, but do you wanna prolong your stay here and try to continue the brand that, that you've tried to est uh, already establish down here already? Yeah, we, we our goal right here is to get to the NCAA tournament. We gotta finish to the top of the WAC. I, I think we can do that. I think we're on the right track. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, where I want to end my career. I want to. I love the Valley. And I want to be here as long as they'll have me. So we're excited about uh, you know the growth that we've done. You know, beating the two best teams in the league on the road last year. Uh, the way we finished the year last year. Uh, you know, you can take the two COVID years and throw them out. But uh, I think we're improved as a program, and I think we're going to continue to get better and better. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thanks, Ray.